What's up guys, James Davey here, checking in from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I've taken a little hiatus for a week or so on these videos while I made an impromptu trip to El Salvador to bring two very special Brazilians back to America. One of the Brazilians is Daniela's goddaughter, her name is Flora. She's awesome and she brought me this badass cowboy hat from Minas, from the market. What's the market called again, Flora? from Mercado Central. And apparently it's handmade and I'm fucking stoked on it. Like I've been wearing it nonstop. I became known as the Gringo Cowboy in El Salvador. So we caught some waves with our other good friend, Carol, who's actually been the one who makes these videos as awesome as they are. She's been editing these and now that she's here, we're gonna be making a whole lot more. And I'm excited. We're slowly assembling our Farofa gang here. We're all like skateboarding around the neighborhood, listening to country music, making beans, making Farofa, making Panjo Queijo. And so we're the Farofa gang. And um, if you want to join, let me know. The application's easy. You gotta like to have a good time. You gotta like Farofa. You gotta like some country music. You gotta like to dance. What else you gotta like to do with Farofa? Oh, uh, it's Pancho Casual. Can't forget Pancho Casual. And you like to, you gotta have to like to uh, have barbecues outside. You need to know about the Sofrencia. The Farofa Gang and the Sofrencia Club are like sister organizations, you know. We also have been getting a lot of requests to do more than one video a week. And so this week we're diving in. Now that, you know, Daniela, Flora, Carol are here. We're going to be filming some more. And they're going to be putting a lot more good music in front of me every Wednesday and Sunday. We're going to be releasing a new video twice a week. Also, I've been reading in the comments that uh, a lot of people want to see Daniela appear in the video. So I asked her, I was like, Shushu, people want to see you come up here. And um, she was like, no, it's your channel. You do your thing. And I was like, no, come. So I was like, what if I get to 100,000 subscribers? And she was like, all right. If you get to 100K, I'll appear in your videos with you. So, we're super close, guys. Help me get to 100K. Then, Shushu herself shall be appearing. Maybe with other members from the Farofa gang, too. Who knows? If you want to join, we're starting a Brazilian commune here in Chapel Hill. The doors are wide open. We're going to make Farofa. We're going to listen to country music. Let's dive on in. Be sure to like, subscribe down below for more info and all that stuff, you know, you know, you know. And make sure you hit that little bell up there in the corner. It's gonna notify you when new videos come. When we release it on Wednesday and Sunday, it's gonna be like ding, ding, ding. New video, new reaction, new surprise. What's up? All right, dive on in. This song is by Pablo, just Pablo. And the name of the song is Por Que Homem Now Chora. I don't know if this, this accent is not from me, it's like Por que homem não chora? Homem 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 Não 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 It's not meowing, it's like no Não Yes Por que não chora? Okay. Homem. Homem. Não. 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 Chora. I just gotta say it like a man. Não. Yeah, that's it. Por que, por que homem não chora? That, that will do for now. Por que homem não chora? By Pablo. Parentheses. É só dizer que sim, clip oficial. So I don't know anything about Pablo, but uh, his name's Pablo. It's a cool name. Classic. Volume up. Yeah. Mm, so emotional. Vou indo embora. A mala já está lá fora. Vou te deixar. Vou te deixar. Vou te deixar. Por favor, não implore. 
Pablo is staring into my soul. What you seeing, Pablo? He's down here. He's packing his bags and leaving now. He's leaving and not coming back. He's telling me that in his eyes. He's like, I'm leaving. Y'all can't see his face right now, but he's like, I'm leaving. Well, look at this guy's face and tell me he's not staring into your soul. Because he's staring into mine. And I'm curious what he's seeing. But I'm seeing his already. He can sing high. I can't even sing that. I'm not even gonna try. He's got a saxophone back there. Is that a six string bass? You gotta be a badass to play a six string bass. Either that or an idiot. But I'm guessing this dude's a badass. Nice guitar work, nice guitar work. What's he saying? He's saying, I'm leaving now. Please don't beg me to stay because men, they don't cry. Hmm. I gotta say, he doesn't know me, because sometimes I cry like a little girl. Sorry. God. And that's okay. I like when you cry. Thanks, Susu. Sometimes I can't help it, especially when I listen to some frenzy music. <laughs> The song's sad. It's like, it's a sad one. It's your fault. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving, but I'm leaving because you, you, you fucked it up. Even though I cheated on you, I did everything wrong, it's still your fault. Is that what you're saying, Pablo? Is that what you're saying? Either Pablo is really unfair or he had some kind of woman break his heart. It could really be either. You know, I'm sure Pablo's broken a lot of hearts in his day, but if he wrote this song, maybe a woman did. Maybe it was her fault. But he could cry, right? He probably did cry. I guarantee Pablo cried. He's singing like he didn't cry. But Pablo, tell me you didn't cry. Really, tell me you really didn't cry. <laughs> The way he's holding that microphone, this must be like a Brazilian country singer thing because he's holding it like he's about to kiss a woman. He's holding it like he's singing to the woman he misses who apparently did everything wrong that he wants to kiss. Look at that. Look at that. He's like, oh, baby. <laughs> I always love the bongo players, man. This guy's cool. He looks familiar. Maybe he's playing in another band. But he's just so laid back. And I'm waiting on the saxophone. Where are you at, sax man? Give me some sax. Give me some sugar. I am your neighbor. <laughs> I'm leaving, but please don't beg me 
cried because Mendel cried. So almost like he's saying, if you beg for me to stay, I will cry and Mendel cried. Uh, he doesn't want to cry in front of the girl. Damn. I like this song a whole lot better now. Because I was kind of getting offended the whole time by him saying that men don't cry. And I was like, Pablo, come on, dude. Come on. But he's not saying that men don't cry. He's saying that, you know, society says that strong men don't cry. And I want to be a strong man. But if you come back right now and beg for me, then I'm going to cry. Damn. That's it. All right, Pablo. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I get the porqué now. This is the why. Okay, you're I got using, it. using Portuguese words. I it's know. Such a natural sound. I know. I don't know about the whole man now chora yet, but I get the porqué, and I'm starting to get the Pablo. At first, I didn't get the Pablo. I was like, this guy wants to be Ricky Martin. You know, he was like looking at the camera like, I'm the Brazilian Ricky Martin. I don't cry. I'm too cool to cry. And then I was like, motherfucker, you do cry. But now I'm like, you know... He's not Ricky Martin. He's Pablo. And behind the cool, sexy Pablo we see is a sensitive dude who will cry if this woman comes back. Por que, Pablo? Por que? So fancy, Pablo. There he goes again. Kiss me. There he is, staring into my soul. It ended too soon. I was just getting going. And then it's just like, don't beg, men don't cry, men don't apologize. And then he ended it. He's like, and I'm not gonna apologize for ending the song there because I just ended it. You know, he just exited that song probably like he exited this relationship. Like, I didn't think he was gonna exit right then. I thought he was gonna like drop it down and ride it out a little longer. But it was just like, psh. Then he was like, peace. I'm not crying. So that's that, y'all. That's Pablo. I'm James Davey. I like the song. I'll be honest, at first, just because of the words, I didn't know what quite to make of it. And, you know, because of his Ricky Martin vibe, I thought it was a little much. But by the end of that one, I was a fan. I really was. So he took me for a ride. And then he left. Touche, Pablo, touche. There's a song I didn't write, but there's a song written by this guy named Bob Marley that I think I could play. It, to me, is like the answer to this song. Here's the first song of your life. Thanks, Shushu. Daniela says I love this guitar more than I love her, but it's not true. When she's moving the guitar on the house and like hits it against something, she is an old girl, you know, but she'll, you know, nick it against something, and then I'll just give her this look. Bye, Shushu. That's my baby. Danielle always says, you know, if you had to choose me or this guitar, I think you choose the guitar. But again, that's not true. This guitar is a close second, though. Her name is Jewel, and she's a jewel. So what do you say, baby Jewel? I love you. Sometimes I play and I just put my ear up against her and you hear like all the bass. You know, guitars and women are very similar. You know, they've got curves, you know, they're smooth sometimes. If you play them right, they sing. If you don't play them right, they don't sound good. But I like to play them right. Sometimes I don't. I try. And all you can do is try. Pablo, this song was written by Bob Marley and this is a response to your song. Because you say men don't cry, and Bob Marley says no woman no cry. And that's the truth. Life without woman, a whole lot less tears. Probably not worth living. Okay, one, two, three. Yard. 
I cry sometimes. 